Okay guys, um, patterns in resource consumption question four. Hope we haven't lost you yet. Um, if you've listened to all of these without a break, I would suggest that you go away and have a break. I'm sure that you've had enough of my voice and a break from my voice would be very, very nice. Okay, so the question here, this question starts off by talking about ecological footprints. A diagram here, which looks at the ecological footprints. Here, you can see that the ecological footprint is measured in global hectares per, per, per person. USA, not surprisingly, up at the top, 9.75 global hectares per person. Canada, UK, Mexico, Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, Bangladesh. I mean, look at those difference, guys, between the global hectares per person. Bangladesh um, is less than one compared to that 9.7 of our friends in the United States of America. Asks you here to define what the ecological footprint is. Um, I'm sure you remember the lessons on the equal e ecological footprint. But here, remember the important thing is it's a theoretical measurement of the amount of land and water that is required to produce our resources that a person uses in a year. That's one mark. But the other part is to absorb and safely deal with the waste that, that is generated under current technology. In reality, they just want those two parts in there where you talk about the production of the resources and dealing with the mess, um, the clean up on that. And they'll accept that. Um, but there are two point parts that, again, this thing here of two marks, that's really important. Two marks, they are going to require two pieces of information. Moving on down, um, this question here, uh, describe how the pattern of ecological footprints shown by the graph affects the rate of economic development. I think when marking your work, guys, actually, I've been far too generous on this. Um, I think the examiner would actually expect you to use some of those numbers. So, of course, the trend that you can see here is that as a country gets more economically developed, USA, you're at the top there, guys, with your levels of economic development, hence the global hectares per person in the USA very high. And so you would say USA, round about 9.75, 9.5 global hectares per person is the most developed country, going down um, to uh, India and Bangladesh. Of, those, of all those countries, Bangladesh is the least economically developed. And like we said at the very start of this uh, presentation, um, they've got a very, very small um, ecological footprint. I really think the examiner would want you to use those numbers in, so I've been far too generous um, as always with your marking and we'd want to see those numbers in. This one here, um, outline the strategy as a local or national scale which is designed to reduce the consumption of one named resource. Now with this question there was some uh, confusion. It is a specific resource. If you remember the resource that we looked at in, in the lessons uh, was oil. We spent some time looking at the USA policy um, and they all that have those videos on that. I would suggest you go back and look at those videos. There's also some information um, in the book which talks about New Zealand uh, trying to um, introduce things like speed limits and increasing the price of the fuel. What it was not about was Iceland that national policy that tries to look after the environment. This is one specific named resource. Again, when marking these, I think I've been a little bit too generous. Um, a lot of you put in there um, renewable, non-renewable um, sources of fuel. Um, I did let you have that. I think in reality, the examiner would say, no, that's too general. You need to identify a specific uh, specific resource there rather than just renewables or non-renewables. So reasons why that strategy has worked. They, these reasons do need to be linked with what you said in part C1. So it's that national policy or local policy, that named policy that you will talk about and there's got to be a clear link between the two. So if you say here the natural resource is oil 
and you, you talk about the USA policy uh, that they've got there on reducing the consumption of the oil and then you go off and start talking about um, another resource or a different country, they're not going to let you have that. See again here, explain, mini explain, 2 plus 2. So they want you to make a statement and develop it in some way. We'll have a chat about some of the ideas that you, that, that you have come up with here and there are some very very good suggestions. Um, lots of you talked about um, electric cars, how actually electric cars don't in really have that much of an impact on reducing the consumption of oil if you simply use the same oil just to generate that electricity. But of course that depends on the specific uh, specific scenario. Other people talked about taxation and how taxation um, doesn't always reduce the consumption of resource because people just get used to paying the higher level, high, higher levels, uh, higher wages, sorry, and the higher prices for the fuel. Other people have said things like, you know, um, if you start making your engines more efficient, people will just start driving further because people think in terms of not the number of miles they drive but the amount of money that they spend on the fuel. So they will say, okay, um, today I will drive and drive and drive until I've spent $20 worth of fuel and then I'll stop. Make your engine more efficient, people just drive further and it's this thing crops up time and time again. So it does say either it has been successful or has not been successful. It allows both a positive and a negative. But I think for this question the really important thing is you have that really tight link with what you've said in part C1. I think for this question um, we do need to have a talk about this in class and be a little bit clearer about what those strategies are. Maybe simplify that um, for you a little bit. Okay, that was the last one and for section A the next video we'll go on to talk about section B and look at the individual uh, examination questions.